Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and this video is about an idea I've had for many years. When I grew up in the uh, 70s and early 80s in England we used to have a lot of funfair trucks or carnival trucks depending on where you're from um, which uh, looked pretty much like this. Um, now I always wanted to uh, to build a kind of dodging ride out of Lego so I had to wait many years to do this for the simple reason the elements weren't available. Um, these particular trucks represent a dodgem ride <clears throat> but they can also build uh, two other concept rides. The whole point of this was to uh, fit as many elements in or on the lorries or trucks uh, which could be converted into uh, one of three um, funfair rides or carnival rides. For example this truck contains nothing but the lights uh, in strips. Uh, this one contains the uh, the flooring and the panels for the uh, for the ride as does this one and this one is a dynamo van with the uh, the uh, motor and the electricity needed to drive the uh, the ride plus a ticket box which sits on the back anyway my plan at the moment is to uh, show you folks uh, basically what whoops what um, these turn into so if I pause the video and build the first ride, I can show you uh, what they turn into. This is the first ride I've uh, I've built out of the uh, three-in-one set. In the background, you can see the trucks, which are now empty of all their uh, elements. The, uh, the first ride is basically a dodgems. These little cars uh, are meant to do what, uh, what dodgem what dodgem carts do. They sort of go round and do the usual sort of stuff. In uh, in this, I've got the uh, the seats for the people to wait on. Over here, we have oops, we've got a uh, a light bar. Uh, which basically I use for uh, the corners just to just to add something special. Over here is the uh, the ticket box, and in the background there's uh, information about how much the ride cost and uh, the controls and everything, and some lights on the front just to make it uh, more interesting. On this side we have the uh, the dynamo wagon just there, more seats, and uh, of course the blue at the front is the steps leading up so that people can get onto the cars. Um, over here there's more elements which I've not used. Um, I've designed it so that there's more than enough um, bricks and plates and what have you so that I can build one of three rides but this is the uh, the simplest um the next two rides are basically purely for my imagination and they don't actually exist but i thought i would build them as fun concept rides so uh, i'll build the next one this is the uh, second ride i've built uh, using the same elements uh, this time i only need two of the four cars for this ride um, the basic idea is that uh, riders in these small carts, they start at one end of the track and they're shot forward along this uh, the track until they reach the end, in which, in which case they suddenly uh, stop. The whole point is this is a kind of a, uh, a small white knuckle ride. If this was in reality, this would be somewhere in the lines of about... Uh, 60 meters long um, it's roughly speaking about uh, three and a half to four 
uh, trucks on. The, the trucks, by the way, are meant to be 20 studs by 4 studs wide and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about 7 uh, bricks high. In reality, these trucks would be roughly 32 to 34 feet long. So this is uh, this is quite a long ride if it was uh, in reality. And the idea is when they get to the uh, the red bars at the end, there's something that uh, slows the cars down so that uh, the riders don't shoot off the edge. So if I bring my camera around, you can get an idea of what it looks like. The lights uh, flash as they go down the ride, adding to the uh, to the experience. And if I take you along, you can see the cars at the front. And this, once again, is just two light bars, just to give uh, some more colour. Anyway, once again, this is the, uh, the ticket box. A couple of seats for riders to wait while they're waiting to go on the ride. And here's just a spare car. Um, the other one being over here. These are basically fences just to stop the public from uh, entering the, the private area where the uh, carnival crew or the fairground staff keep their vehicles. Anyway, the uh, the last one um, is a variation on this. It's a, it's a longer, thinner ride, which is twice the length of this. Um, and basically, how that works is pretty much the same, except for it's one car at a time, and it's uh, 120 metres, or roughly 360 feet long. Um, I will attempt to build it, but uh, my uh, my display area would need basically all of this plus more. But anyway, I'll uh, I'll give it a go. This is the uh, the final ride I've built, and it's so long, in fact, that I've run out of display area. So I'm having to go beyond my sheet of card and. Uh, and almost at the end of, uh, well, my bed basically, where I film most of my videos. Um, just to show you what it looks like through here. So this is where in reality you would have your photograph taken as you shoot along at high speeds. This is the uh, track. It's thinner than the last one and it's twice as long. So... It would be about a hundred and uh, hundred and twenty ish meters long, so it's quite a, a long ride, and it goes all the way here. And the idea is that at one end you sit in the car, and uh, you're shot forward along the track. At first, you have all these lights flashing along side you, but as you move along at the at a, vary, uh, a varying speed, depending on how fast you control the car, the uh, the lights disappear, and the only thing that's uh, remaining is the track. And you shoot along until you come to these red bars, and then at the end, you stop. Um, the whole concept is it's, it's controlled like a uh, magnetic monorail. So... You have, for example, in the car, foot pedals. One would be uh, a brake, and one would be an accelerator as such. And uh, the whole idea is, using magnetic um, uh, technology, you would be shot forward, and you would basically just shoot along the whole length of the track. Um, so if I was to take one of the uh, trucks... Bearing in mind, uh, this is a, a rough sort of scale. So if I was to put two trucks next to each other and go back a little, 
you can see it's uh, it's a fair length anyway uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is all the elements um, as they are so as you can see just exactly what it is I'm using to build these three concept rides everything I used to build the three rides is uh, is here in disassembled form ready for packing into the the trucks these are the light bars mm -hmm. 